Howdy, howdy everyone. So for today's video, I'm gonna be talking about a tool which can help users on PlayStation 3, PS Vita, and even PSP systems. So the tool is called No PayStation. And basically what No PayStation is, it's a superior way of getting no MP DRM games, DLC, updates, and PlayStation Mobile games, as well as PlayStation 1 games, without the need to rely on any user uploads. With this tool, you're actually downloading the content straight from Sony's servers. It's just like downloading from the PlayStation Store. And there's also support for PSP, PS1, PS2, and PS3 games and DLC as well. So it's an excellent tool with a massive list of games you can get for all of those systems. And since the downloads come from Sony, the download speeds are also pretty good. So a tool like this is quite similar to the PKGI interface. You may have seen my Vita video on PKGI, but this is a tool that you run from your computer rather than on the console itself to get the game files. So with all that said, let's look at how you can install it. So first off, head to your computer. We've got a few files we need to download there. All right, so check the links in the video description and you'll find where you need to download the PKG2zip file. Choose either the 32 or 64 bit version, depending on the operating system of your computer and also download the NPS browser executable file. So with these files, just go ahead and extract the PKG to zip executable. You can store that anywhere on your computer and then go ahead and launch the NPS browser software. So it'll come up saying, does not provide any links to external files. You need to specify files with your links to the PKGs on your own. So you choose okay. And then you can see this screen, which has a list of boxes where we're gonna to need to put links in. So you'll need to copy paste the following links into the boxes. So for the first one, that's our link. This one for PSM, this one for PS1, this one for PS3, this one for PSP. And then for DLC, we've got this link for PlayStation Vita and this link for PlayStation 3. Then the download and unpack directory, that's basically asking you where you want to store the files. So I'll just make a new folder on the desktop and I'll call it no PlayStation. That works for me. And then any PKG tool, you're gonna to need to point that to the PKG to zip executable that we extracted before. And then there's a simultaneous download setting as well. If you wanna have multiple downloads going at once, you can change the setting here. With that done, just close this screen, close the tool, and then run the tool again. And then after doing a reload in the file menu, you should be able to see all content available on no PlayStation. And there is a lot of it to be seen. So, Basically, just come through and tick the sort of content you're looking for. I'm going to untick Vita, PSM, PSP, PC Engine, Neo Geo, and Minis. So I'm just looking at PS3 and PlayStation 1. And then I can also specify the region that I'm after as well, just to help narrow it down a little bit. So now I can only see PlayStation 3 and PlayStation 1 content. Pretty awesome. So let me think, what's a game that I'd like to get? I know, I'm wanting to play through Metal Gear Solid 1 on my Vita through Adrenaline. So I'm gonna go ahead and choose Metal Gear Solid and we'll see how it goes. So I found it in the list. So I'll go ahead, right click Metal Gear Solid and just choose download and unpack. And you can see in the list here now, total file size for Metal Gear Solid is 779 megabytes. And my download speed is over nine megabytes a second. So that's the benefits of downloading from Sony. You do get a really nice download speed. And once the download's complete, I'll go ahead and try sending it to my Vita for installation through Adrenaline. After the download's complete, it should then unpack and then change the status to completed when it's finished. So if I have a look in my folder where I sent it to, I can see it's set up a PSP emu folder here as if I was about to transfer the game to my Vita. I would just have to send that folder across. And indeed, there is an eBoot PBP and document in here. So with the PSP emu folder that it's created for me, all I really need to do is transfer this over to my beta 
and that'll put it in the correct folder for Adrenaline to recognize it. So I'm going to go ahead and transfer it to my Vita now. Okay, so I'm on my Vita now and I've just finished sending the files across. So now I'll just head to Adrenaline. And let's test that game out. Sure enough, it's detected it. And looks like it's going to load right up for us. This is Snake. Colonel, can you hear me? Loud and clear. What's the situation, Snake? <laughs> nice to meet you, Snake. It's an honor to speak to a, a living legend like yourself. What's wrong? Nothing. I just didn't expect a world-class designer of military technology to be so... Cute. <laughs> You're just flattering me. No, I'm serious. Well, I know I won't be bored for the next 18 hours. Come on. I can't believe I'm being hit on by the famous Solid Snake. But uh, I'm surprised. You're very frank for a trained killer. Looks like we both have a lot to learn about each other. Yeah. I'm looking forward to learning about the man behind the legend. So there you have it, team. That about covers the No PlayStation browser application. Now I'm also going to include a link in the description to the README file. So in there you can see instructions on how to install all of the content. There's quite a few nice tutorials in that README file. And there's also a list of all of the content available via a spreadsheet form. So you'll be able to check if there's certain content available before you actually download and install the program if you would like to. So I hope that this video has helped you and I hope that no PlayStation can help you get some new content installed on your devices if you like. As always, thank you guys so much for watching and subscribing. Plenty more content to come in the coming few weeks, so stay tuned for that. Have a good one. Peace.